Hello and welcome to class. My name is uh, Sam Norton. Uh, today we are going to look at the 13th lesson. And we are going to lay emphasis on market research. We have been discussing the topic of marketing, the total of research. So today, we are going to dwell on what we mean by marketing. Now, the previous lesson, just to recap on what we learned, we discussed market segmentation. What it means by to segment a market. What is a market segment? Say, a market segment is a subgroup of a market in which the consumers have similar characteristics or preferences. So it is a subgroup. So we have a bigger market. We have a mass. Remember, we talked about niche market. And a mass market. So here we have a mass market, right? Market for everyone. Then we come and take a portion of that. Let's say we only dwell with the kids, the young ones under the age of five. That becomes a market segment. Now, a market can be segmented by one according to age, right? Segmented according to the other, the young, the youth, and so forth. We can segment a market according to social economic group. That is, grouping people according to how much they are paid, their levels of income. So that we were in Mombasa, for instance, and you would say the people in Yali who are, have comparatively higher incomes than the people in Saudi. Right, so you have segmented the market here. Yeah, Saudi is a market, Timorani uh, is another market, then you have uh, Zingo and so forth. That is called segmenting it according to the social economic group. You can also uh, divide the market according to location. Where people live, people that live in wet areas, for instance, will buy more waterproof clothing than those who live in dry areas. So if you come from an era, Nigeria, Gerisa, which are fairly dry areas, right? So these people are not going to buy sweaters, jackets, gum boots. Why? Because areas are not wet. But if you come from Nairobi, you come from maybe the Rift Valley, these are areas that are very wet, then they need more waterproof. You can also segment your market according to gender, where now you divide the market according to the number of men and women. And remember, the products they consume differ. There are some goods that men consume, women don't. And there are some products that women consume and men don't. Now, you can also do it according to lifestyle, right? How many children a person has? Their religion, their habits, you see. And those who play golf, right? And those who have 13 children, and those who have two. So that is a lifestyle. Now, what are the benefits of market segmentation? What does someone gain when they take a sub market? For one, business aims all of its marketing efforts to the specific segment, making marketing costs efficient. So if you just take a portion of the market, right, then all your marketing efforts will go to that free stuff. Now, um, nowadays, access to internet becomes easier because there are many players, there are many firms that are offering internet service. Uh, but still, there are people who cannot afford because it's not a basic requirement for them. So if you want to offer Wi-Fi services, right, you are going to segment your market. Maybe according to uh, what we call social economic factor. You say people who can afford to live in a house where yeah, one bedroom goes for 18,000 can spare 3,000 a month for internet connection. And those 
live in a room or a house where they pay 6,000 may not have enough money to pay for the internet. So that is one of the needs. So when you want to do market, you know, right, this neighborhood is like this. So you put all your efforts there, which reduces your marketing costs. Another benefit is that since less money is spent on marketing, the business will make more profit. Another benefit is that identify a market segment whose needs are not met and fail to be the first to join the market. That is another benefit. Now, there are two types of businesses. When you talk about market research, there are two types of one is called product oriented business and the other one is called market oriented business. So a product oriented business is a business that focuses mainly on the product itself. So this is a business where someone designs the product, they feel it's the best product, they feel it will offer solutions to some problems, then they Market. So they put all the emphasis on the product. Market oriented business on the other hand is a business that focuses on market research and find out what the customer wants before they develop products. So you go to the market and you do your research. What is the gap in the market? What are the customers not getting? Right? Once they tell you, we need this, then you go back and design the product. That is called market oriented business. Now, for you to do this, market research will be very important because a business needs to know how many people will be willing to buy the product. This is to see how profitable it will be. Right? It does not make sense to design a product that only three people will buy. Right? does not make any sense. So market research involves gathering information about consumers' needs or preferences in a market. That is what market research is. There are two main types of market research. Two types of market research. One of them is called primary research. Or what we may call Failed research. The other one is called secondary research, or what we may call best research. I'll expand on them. Now, what do you mean by primary research? This is gathering of original data by talking directly with customers or the potential. So, here, as we have said, it's called what field? Research. Where you personally talk to the customers or those who are potential customers. You go and talk to them, you hear their views, their suggestions before you decide to bring a product. What does primary research include? One, Questionnaires or surveys. Prepare a questionnaire form that you give potential customers, they go through it, and uh, they fill, ask them questions, then they answer. You can do it by interviews, right? This is where a person will interview other people and ask questions. You can conduct interviews using form. You can conduct interviews using SMS. You can contain inter. You can conduct interviews face to face. And you ask a question. Now, when doing this, you do what we call sampling. Right? This is a group of people who are selected randomly to answer questions or get questions. You can ask, for example, if, uh, our country has 48 million people. You cannot ask all of them. It's not possible. 
one, we cannot afford it, and it may take a lot of time. So what we do, we take a sample. So we can say from every sub county, right? We have six sub counties in cost or in Mombasa. The whole country we could have maybe two thousand sub counties. And you can say I'll interview two people from every sub county. That is called a sample. And the information you will get is a representation of everyone. You assume, okay, the views of those two people from every sub county are the views of everybody in that sub county. That is what we call sample. You can take a quota sample. This is when people are selected based on certain characteristics. 